Now, simultaneous equations. So, again, I'm looking at the clock, so we haven't got that much time. For if I was doing a, a full one-day you know, course, I'd get you to try this using algebra. What I urge you to do is try this using algebra at the end of the course. Um, because what you'll find is the algebra will link directly to the bar model. Now you can see we've left Europe. It's in the dollars. Yeah, someone was saying about um, uh, White Rose website is good for those types of questions. Yeah, building up that one. So here we are, Anne and Beth. Now, tell you what the misconception is with this when I trialed this. A lot of the students think the bars have to be equal size or each box, not the bars, but the boxes within the bars have to be equal size because that happened in all the other questions. I mean, that's how we worked out uh, the money, the, the, the three sixteens earlier uh, for the money uh, for Sarah, I think it was. But if you look here, that's why I've used the two different colors. So Anne is blue and Cindy and Beth are pink. But I've used pink for Beth and Cindy because there's a relationship between Beth and Cindy. That one one pink bar, the Cindy one, the bottom one, is three times the length of the of the other one. Now, again, that's the question. I wouldn't give a process mark for that yet because they, I'm not convinced they understand the question. However, I, they understand the question. I give them a mark for that because you can see that one is three times the length of the other, and what we found is that the two additionals are 74, which means, that's right, you, some of you have worked it through and got the answer. There's your 37. So if you were doing this algebraically, you'd see some subtraction of the equations, and you'd see a, a 37 appear, and you'd see a 74 appear, and then you make a substitution at the end, and there's your 20. So it's actually quite a nice way of doing simultaneous equations. I think the disadvantage is it's I don't think I have actually someone did ask me to have a look and I did have a good look and I couldn't find anything it's very hard to do maybe some really old SMP stuff from years ago might have it with more balances uh, doing it as a tool it's quite hard doing bar models for simultaneous equations where one of the equations has got a negative in it I mean that's going to be much harder you'd have like gaps and things and dotted dotted bits uh, but for pluses it's brilliant okay um, this is a worksheet which I used to use for my very first lesson when I was doing this topic with higher tier students um, because they're higher tier and I wanted them to see how these equations could model a question. Um, I actually only marked um, yeah, $20, $20, not £20. Pounds. Um, I, I only marked A, the, the, the missing equations, and 8 the missing sentence because anyone can match them by just looking at numbers. Remember the Hungarian lesson? So someone could look at the first one and it says 20, the sum of 20 and the difference of 8, the one that's linked. And then C, they just link the 20 and the 8. They don't need to know anything. But they have to be able to write a pair of equations for the missing one. So they need to do all the matching first. And then the missing equation, they need to write a problem. And that's the only two that I mark because that shows the learning. For foundation, I used this as my last lesson when they would got fluency in the topic. It would have been too much to give the foundation kids that from the word go because they really wouldn't have known what the hell was going on. So I gave that as a foundation plenary but as a starter for higher.